60,000 years before it's 80th century. A small clan of Homo Neanderthalis lived in suburban harmony on the site of what is now 15 Acacia Avenue, Guildford. <laughs> they spent their days hunting for buffalo or gathering fruit and nuts for Sainsbury's hypermarket house. <laughs> and swapping out macrobiotic recipes with the gorillas next door. They whiled away their evenings around the barbecue, playing rock rock who's there, and telling mammoth jokes, and singing Neanderthal football songs, many of which survived today. All was happiness and peace. At the other end of Acacia Avenue lived a skinny little ape man of a nasty disposition. He was too weedy to knock over a buffalo or outrun a saber tooth tiger. None of the local girls would go out with him because he was such a miserable little sod. So he sat alone with his thoughts. And his thoughts became nastier and nastier and nastier. Finally, one summer evening, when the Neanderthalers were having a particularly swinging party, he appeared in their midst, brandishing a large and heavy stone with which he bashed the leader over the head. Then turning on the nearest Neanderthal lady, he came to her skull in with the same implement and threw her baby into a nearby pond. The remainder of the clan, appalled and terrified by this unprecedented brutality, took to their heels and never stopped running until they reached Scumthorpe. <laughs> The murderer sat down smiling beside their fire and finished off their abandoned barbecue. Clever me, he gloated. I am the first ape man to kill his neighbor. I am Homo sapiens, <laughs> the clever bastard. Homo sapiens, the clever bastard. Still resides in Acacia Avenue at Guildford. <laughs> he has exchanged his fur wrap for a pinstripe and his heavy stone for an iPad. He robs and murders daily, an immense profit to himself, in a concrete jungle known as Canary Wharf. And that, dearest pilgrim, is what we grown-ups call evolution. <laughs> <laughs>